Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. As you can see here, I am on Limitless TCG. And uh, I am going to go over what happened this past weekend at the Pokemon TCG World Championships. And as you can see here, it was won by Fernando Sef... How do you say his last name? Sefuentes, I guess. And, uh, yeah, it's been pretty cool. So, nice uh, nice weekend. Uh, and it was in uh, Honolulu, Hawaii. So, just going to go over the top 16 decks, not the 32, as the 16 is basically what matters. I know 32 gets pricing, but... Pardon me, prizing. But, um, yeah, top 16 is definitely where it's at. Um, just by the look of it here, you can see that there, there is uh, six Reggie Drago. There's a couple Maradon. There's a couple Lugia, right? And then there's a, a few others. You got a single Chien Pao. You got a single Gardevoir, a single Charizard. A single Raging Bolt, a single Turbo Roaring Moon, and then a single Iron Thorns. So, six different singles, six, uh, you know, Reggie Dragos, two Lugias, and then two Maridons. So, nice, uh, you know, variety, a little bit too much Reggie Drago for my, my liking, but, uh, yeah, we're going to go through all the lists here. Starting with Iron Thorns, the winning deck by Fernando. So, just plays the uh, the four Iron Thorns here, right? And, uh, you know, you got the standard supporter line. And this looks actually really good. Um, I really like the Colress's Tenacity in here. All right, I think that's a great card for this deck, right? The energy gets you that double turbo for that turn two. And uh, a stadium, right? So that's pretty good, right? You know, you got three Lost City. You know, great at knocking out Pokemon that uh, um, really depend on that, uh, you know, being in play, right? And then obviously, you know, got the four Crushing Hammer, four Catcher, right? Just super disruptive. Prime Catcher is really good. Canceling Cologne, really good. A lot of consistency too with the Poke Gears in here and the, um, what card is it? Uh, the Techno Radar, right? And then obviously the, uh, you know, the Arvins as well. Another really good consistency card. And then lastly, they got the, uh, um, the, the Hand Disruption Judge and the Iono. So pretty good list this is actually really solid i really like this list so pretty cool next one sinosuke shiokawa with roaring moon turbo roaring moon this here is another absolutely gorgeous list um i personally think that you should play two of these right but it's more focused on the Moon EX uh, because its ability to hit that uh, that um, you know 220 mark right or the auto knockouts with uh, frenzied gouging right so that's actually really good and then I, I guess you know uh, with that you know there isn't really a whole lot of ancient stuff in here you know you got the Sedas. So there's the four, you got the four vessels, right? And then you obviously got the Roaring Moon and then the EX itself, right? So that's not really a whole lot. So you're not going to be doing a whole lot of damage with this guy. Like if you're hitting for 130 on that first attack there, you're going to have six Ancient cards in the discard pile. That's pretty high, right? This is an Ancient box, you know what I mean? This is Turbo Roaring Moon. All right, you got the Pekka right in here for the Switch. All right, this is actually a really good card. Not in the Iron Thorns matchup, though, because this gets shut off. But every other matchup, it's actually really good because you're able to 
um, the dark patch uh, to it. Right, so that's pretty good, right? I really like this aggressive with the four catchers, right? So um, you play the four catcher because you want to Seda and and boss in the same turn, but you can't play Seda and boss, so you got to do Seda and catcher and prime catchers in here as well, which is, makes it another really good. Um, you know, card to have, and another really, really, really good bosses orders to have. So, four ultra and four nas make it just it's super consistent. Trekking shoes, polka stop just makes you turbo through your deck. So I really like this build. This is a really good build. Maride on with Jesse Parker. So this is his version. Right, this is not too far from all the uh, the other versions out there. I personally am not a fan of it. I'm not a fan of it because I think that the damage output is way too low with this deck, even with the Zapdos. All right, I like to be high, hitting higher numbers, and you know I also think that um, there's Pokemon that you don't really need here. I don't think you need the Iron Bundle. I don't think you need the Zapdos. Right. Pheasant is really cool and all, you know. Um, but it's kind, it's kind of, it's mediocre. You can have it in here. You don't, you don't need to though. Aluminion's kind of interesting too. It's a bad starter. It doesn't really go with the deck, right? Um, and it's only there to grab a supporter. At least with Pheasant here, you know, in the draw, you can at least have a, a spread damage attack, right? Uh, you know, with 100 damage. So it's not bad, but it's not great. Mew EX here, right? Another really good card to have. This is basically a staple in any Maridon deck. Mm. I love this card. I love it because I go through my hands actually really quick. Uh, and, you know, 4 Ultra Ball is definitely the play. It's not that hard to go through your deck. Uh, the Blood Moon Ursaluna, another really good card. All right, pardon me. Um, I'm currently playtesting this myself, right? And I'm basically trying to decide if it's worth it or not. Uh, because, you know, with my build, I play the Regieleckis, right, to boost the damage so I can actually do one shots. And I think that's a really important part of the deck. Not just going after cheap prizes or, or basic Vs, right? And I basically wonder how this would kind of affect it, right? Um, you know, you're only hitting 240. It's not boosted with anything. So is 240 going to really get you a knockout anywhere? Right? Um, yeah, so there's that. The Raikou. This card is one of the best cards in the deck. I absolutely love this card. I like to play two in here. Um, I think it's fantastic, and I think it's fantastic just because of how fast you can charge this up, right? It only re requires two energies, and it can deal 220, and that's another reason why, you know, I put the Raikou, uh, pardon me, Reggie like v VMAX is in my build, uh, is because, you know, both full benches and two Reggie like VMAX in play, I'm hitting that magic 280, which knocks out all the V stars. So, Squawkabilly, you know, two copies is kind of, kind of weird. I prefer one myself, as you know. Even then, with this card, there's a lot of cards that I um, won't really get rid of in my hand. I like to save them, and I feel like you know having two of these will kind of prevent that. I also like three Maridon and then two Iron Hands EX, right? Um, two Maridon's not really that great as, you know, you need this. Um, this makes the deck way more consistent. You don't have a Hisuian Heavy Ball to grab it, so if you were to maybe put that in, you could do that instead. You could play the two instead, but then what happens if both are prized, right? You're only getting one. And that's the problem. Like, if you look at Jesse's 
game three against Fernando there. He had three electric generator prized. Right? So saying that it can't happen, oh, it definitely can happen. And I've seen it happen. It cost him, you know, uh, you know, a final spot, right? Had he not had, you know, three generator prize, if he had one prize, right, he probably would have won the match. If he had two prize, then it would have been pretty close. So, um, I like basically everything else here, right? A spec is up for debate, right? Depends on your build. I like max belt for the one shots. Bravery charm is actually really good. And the energy count, he plays a lot higher ener amount of energy. He plays 18, 16, and 2. I play 15, 13, and 2. So, the amount of lightning energy between us differs. Right? I think anything um, 15 or higher is good. I think 18 might be a little bit too high, but try it out. Overall, a really good list. I really like it. Raz Wolp from uh, Israel, which is surprising. I don't know Israel was here at the uh, World Championships. Uh, so, Reggie Drago. Um, you know, you got the four Ogre Pond, the three Drago V-Stars, and the V. Right? Looks actually a really good list. I really like the um, the Pokemon count. Right? I think that's perfect. Um, the energy, right? Energy, a lot of people are playing three fire, right? And I believe seven grass. So I think that's, uh, you know, that's one that's up for debate, right? So, um, eight and two versus seven and three, you know, it depends on preference. You do have the super energy retrievals in here, which help. Um, you got the... Pardon me, a super consistent package here with four Ultra, four Nest, four Earthen Vessel. So that's really good. Um, the four Energy Switch as well because that's how you play Reggie Drago these days. I absolutely don't like it. I prefer the Leafeon V version back in uh, the Silver Tempest format. Um, yeah, Canceling Clone, which is really good versus the... Uh, um, versus that Rabska, uh, or, um, the, uh, what's it called, the Manaphy there, right, for the Kiram. So, pretty good. I like the supporter count too, uh, you know, high on the research. So I think that's what you need. That's the most important with this deck, is just because, just being able to draw seven, Right, and then that's why they play the prime catcher, so they can get that draw and then uh, gust at the same turn. So, really good list. I really like this list for Reggie Juggle. Great on Raz for getting fourth place. Isaiah Bradner. Right, he plays three Ogre Pawn. He also plays a Pheasant Dippity, the Radiant Charizard, and the Halucha. Right, and once again, seven and three. Pretty interesting, right? I think he went uh, one less Iono, and he got rid of the Knight Stretcher. I know these are the same. I know he plays um, the Temple. Raz did, I think it was two canceling Cologne. Uh, Isaiah also plays the Polka Stop. So, and more. One very important thing to note is Isaiah doesn't play the Gudra, and I think that is not really that great, especially in the mirror. I think the Gudra makes the mirror, right, uh, you know, more in your favor, because that 200, you know, um, that damage reduced by 80, you know, it can make the, you know, the difference between you surviving, um, you know, a, a two-hit KO or not, right? So, another pretty solid list here. Uh, James Goring with Raging Bolt. Alright, so this here it looks like a pretty standard Raging Bolt. Heavy on the grass, right? Uh, and, you know, the same lightning and fighting, right? Uh, it's because you want to be able to grass to the Ogre Ponds. And then you want to Seda to your Raging Bolts. 
um, and then just attach the other energy to the active that you don't need uh, every turn. So energy retrieval is a lot faster than super energy, and uh, you don't really need to get uh, four energies, right? Um, Pokemon line, I think, is perfect. Right, you might want to consider the Mew, but I think it's actually pretty good. Uh, everything else looks pretty good. Um, Pokemon Catcher, right? You might want to play four, right? But it does have the Prime Catcher, so just some. It's just player preferences, right? This is actually a really good list. I really like this list. So, Raging Bolt. Ian Rob with Reggie Drago here. It's another Reggie Drago. He basically played a blend of Razes and Isaiahs. Right? Another 7 and 3 here. No Pokestop in here like Isaiah. Pretty similar. Not really going to say much. Michael Davidson with Reggie Drago. Another really similar list here. Uh, the big thing in here is the one Turo. Right? I think that's actually a really good card in the mirror. Uh, just because when your Drago gets damaged, you're able to, um, to Turo it back to your hands. And then just reset it up again. Uh, so that's pretty good. Rahul ready. Lugia V Star. I really like Lugia. I think it's a cool deck. Cool concept, that's for sure. And here we are. So this one here is uber tacked, right? I think the best version of Lugia is one that gets um, that looks very similar to the one um, that first came out when to, like to the to the list that came out when uh, Silver Tempest and Crown Zenith was, you know, coming around. I think with Lugia, you want to just, you don't want to set up something. You want to just be able to drop the Pokemon at a moment's notice to get a one-hit KO. Right? And I feel like this, you know, would be uh, more suited to that, right? Because of the Iron Hands, the Blood Moon, the Weirder V, the Raikou. And, um... You know, that's basic. That's basically it. Sure, you got the Cinchino, but you do waste a lot, of, a lot of energy on it, and it's relatively weak too at 110 HP, right? Whereas the others are got like two, um, 200, base basically or higher. All right, the Raikou's got the 200. Um, the trainer lineup. Well, that's just a pretty s simple trainer lineup, right? It's, like this here, right, that hasn't been changing for a long time. The two Mezagoza, and then the balls here, and like the, the Pokemon search. And then basically the the supporter uh, search, right? You play four research, three boss, so the other way around. Um, Jock, you know, for the Evo Pokemon, right? Do you do that or not? Energies. These here look pretty standard. This list is a little bit different because it does play one lightning energy. And that's obviously for the Raikou or the Iron Hands, right? For the Amp you very much there, right? Just a one random attack. So pretty cool and uh, not a bad list. Uh, I personally am not a fan of the Lugia. Right? Like, I like the card. I think it's a cool Pokemon and a cool idea for the archetype, but I'm just not a fan of the builds right now. I think that, uh, you know, for for this build, it looks like a standard build. Uh, I'm just not really happy with Lugia right now, and that's why I wouldn't play it, so. Tord Reklev with Charizard. The first Charizard on our list. Uh, this one does not have the Dustnor line 
or the Dragapult. It's just standard Charizard Pidgeot, right? Just like how it was back when Obsidian Flames came out. This one does play the Rabska, though, right? And it does that because, um, what you know, it helps versus uh, Dragapult there. And um, the other thing, too... So not just the Dragapult, the deck, but I mean like uh, Reggie Drago, V-Stars, Dragapult, right? But the other thing too um, is that you're able to uh, evolve it right away with TM Evolution. So that's another really good thing. Although if it was a Mana Fee, you could search that out. Or, uh, you know, Jirashi as well. But and the big thing is that it only takes up one bench space. And that is, you know, a reason on why I would play it personally. I do like the Radiant Charizard in here. So I think that's important, right? Uh, this here is a little surprise. A 2-1-2 Charizard line and then a 2-1-2 Pidgeot line, right? Most of them um, don't have the Pidgeotto, right, in the list. And the Charizard line is typically a lot thicker, right? So... Um, yeah, I guess a big thing with that is that they have the, uh, the middle evolutions for the TM here, right? And, you know, going against Regidrago V-Star, they're able to get that Phantom Dive onto those Charmanders and Pidgeys to knock them out, right? Where, uh, the evolution would prevent that, so... Pretty good. Um, standard stuff here, Arvin, Poffin, Ultra Ball, Candy, all that stuff. Right, all this, you know, standard uh, single prize cards. I tell you what, the big card here is the Thornton. That's a really interesting card. It's a card that hasn't really seen much play until now. And a really good thing about what that is, is you're able to just, you know, Thornton into a Pokemon and Rare Candy it. Or just go grab, you know, um, you know that Radiant Charizard back, right? Lots of cool plays you can do with that. So, really good list from Tord here. Collapse Stadium and Temple. Two really good stadiums right now as well. Beautiful. Grant Shen with another Reggie Drago. What can I say about Reggie Drago? They've basically been looking all the same. And this is the same one as Isaiah Bradner. So I'm not really going to spend much time on that. Uh, Lu Tian uh, King, I guess, from China with Gardevoir. So that's surprising. A Gardevoir made top 16. Uh, this Gardevoir looks basically pretty similar. Does not have a Mimikyu in here, which is, um, you know, pretty interesting. I think a lot of players are playing the Mimikyu. Right, but uh, it's not too bad. Uh, you got the TM Evo and Devo, so that helps you with that turn one. You know, getting those uh, those evolutions uh, in play or devolving an opponent's Pokemon. Another really good list, Enhanced Hammer for the Lugia matchup. Just a gold list here. This is probably one of the best lists I've seen for Gardevoir. And uh, congratulations to... Uh, Lu Luau, I guess. Miloslav Posaldini, uh, from Czech Republic there with Reggie Drago again. So, once again, this is a 7 and 3 here. You know, 7 grass, 3 fire. Doesn't play the, uh, Halucha or the Reggie, probably not Reggie, uh, Radiant Charizard. So, they're all all the lists are pretty similar. Like, they're you they're off with they're, like they're basically within like five cards of each other, right? So, just all player preference, right? Not too bad of a list here. Pretty cool. Consta Kalama with another Lugia V Star. Right, so no lightning energy in here. Uh, but it does um, have a uh, increased 
Sinchino line. It goes up to 2-2 rather than uh, Rahul's 1-1. One, one. Uh, this is an even more simplified trainer lineup here. Like, that's crazy. I could just not... To me, the seeing this would make the game really bored. I don't think I would play play that. And then there's no lightning energy too. So, but you know, like I said, it's all player preference, right? So it just depends what you like. Consta Kalama, Ryan Harris with the second Marida on another simple. Well, not I guess not simple, similar. Pardon me. To Jesse's. So the big thing that I see in here. Uh, is it does play the Iron Thorns. Which Jesse's I don't believe did. It does play the Raichu V. Which I believe Jesse's um, did not. Right. Uh, so yeah both of those did not. Um, plays a Rotom V. Which is interesting. And the energy count is a little bit lower. Uh, it was 18 and um, you know with 16 lightning, two of the other uh, for um, uh, Jesse Parker's list there, right? So the big thing that I see is this Academy at Night Stadium here, uh, and it's good here because you're able to put that lightning energy from your hand on top of your deck before you generator, uh, and then that will guarantee you at least one energy off that generator right so pretty good list though and we are almost there lucas zing number 16 with chien pao last one here another really gorgeous list the big thing in this one is it plays the palkia Right, and I feel like that's super important because if you get uh, both your Fridgy boxes uh, knocked out from, let's say, a uh, Dragapult's Phantom Dive, then what you can do is if you ha grab the Palkia on the first turn, you can set it up so you can Star Portal to a Chin Pao, you know, attach an energy, and then just go for that knockout. Uh, on this turn. So, so that would be pretty good. Um, but yeah, this is a pretty good list here. I really like the uh, the trainer count here. Does play the Knight Stretcher and only two Pokestop, right? I think most builds play three, but this plays two. So it's not too bad. And yeah, it's a pretty good list. That's a really good list. I really like this list. So, but yeah, there you go. That is the top 16 from the World Championships in Honolulu, uh, you know, for the year of 2024. So, there's some other stuff down here, right? The decks go all the way to basically the last of day two, right? So, um, you can see basically everybody here, you know, all the players. But yeah, there you go, everybody. Thank you so much for watching again. And once again, see you in the next video.